Actually, I had a car idea. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> hey, Clarence, what's up, man? How's it going? Woo! Hey, Jake. I'm going to stop my impersonations there. Uh, so I get a phone call in the middle afternoon from, from Clarence, and, and he's, uh, he's, he sounds really happy on the phone. And uh, that's great. And uh, he, he proceeds to tell me uh, that he met a woman and that uh, he, like earlier in the week, that, you know, <laughs> it wasn't that recent, though. It was, it was madly in love. And uh, he was sure, he was certain that he had met the woman. You guys know who Clarence Clemens is? He's a legend. A master of disaster. <laughs> King of the universe. <laughs> well, if you know anything about Clarence, uh, you would understand my surprise when he, when he explained to me that he met the one. <laughs> You see, um, at that time, Clarence was uh, relatively recently divorced uh, from his fourth wife. <laughs> he, he had a lot of love, man. And I'll tell you, it was enough. He had enough love for everybody. <laughs> oh, man. So, anyway, uh, on it to, to, to give me a uh, he gives me a request that that I was very humbled by. He asked me if I would be uh, his best man in his wedding. And uh, that's so flattering and you know it's there's also something I take kind of seriously. So um, I was like first of all surprised because really I had not met this person yet. <laughs> and we were really close. So, uh, but, uh, you know, my instinctual reaction, because of my love for him, was to say something along the lines of, um, wow, that's amazing. Wow, wow. Um, so maybe, uh, I was just saying that, uh, Maybe you guys could live together for a while first. Before we decide to get married. I mean, hey, I mean, you know. Just so you know. Just so you're certain that it's the one. And um, anyway. I'm happy to say that it it was the one. And uh, it was till death could they part. They were very much in love. However, the day before the wedding, and you have to understand, I mean, like I take this stuff seriously, so I was very sincere and uh, explained to him that I could have a helicopter here any second. <laughs> If there's any uncertainty, you know. <laughs> and he, uh, he, he was absolutely positively against that idea, unfortunately. But he did go on to tell me a story from that moment about his first heartbreak. Because I didn't understand why he was getting married. You know, I was like, come on, what's the point? And, uh, I mean, I believe in love, don't get me wrong. But, you know, like when you're like well into your 60s and married a few times before, but he believed in love, and he believed in marriage, and, and he wanted to tell me this story about his first heartbreak, and said, it's a horrible story, it's a, it's a heartbreaking story, you know, if you've been lucky enough to have your heart broken before, you know that it stays with you, and, um, and this one was really traumatic, I'll, I'll just, I'll tell you the brief version, he was dating this girl that lived like 20 miles away, and to get there, and then 19, uh, late 50s, early 60s, right, in horribly racist Virginia, uh, he had to like, hitchhike and, uh, and walk through like dangerous neighborhoods. Um, not dangerous for everybody, just dangerous for him. 
uh, in order to get to there, they see her, and he he got to her house one day, and um, he was really proud of himself because like he really loved her, and and was like taking the the physical side of the relationship really slowly, and uh, and uh, you'll understand that in a second. He gets to her house, and um, and her mom answers the door, and she looks at him like, "What are you doing here?" And he's uh, he goes there often, right? I mean, a couple times a week, anyway. You know? So he's kind of taken back, and she tells him that they need to have a talk. And it turns out that she's pregnant. And he's like, you know, if you can imagine a young man talking to your girlfriend's mom, and she's telling you that she's pregnant, your first reaction is not one of Heartbreak, it's self-defense. <laughs> <laughs> so it quickly goes into, I don't, I, we never, and she said, no, 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 I know, I know, I know. You're a guy. It's not you, I know. It's someone else. And then comes the heartbreak, right? Immediately after, the self-defense is the, what? Now I'm computing what you just said. She's pregnant, and this is terrible. Anyway, so he said it always stuck with him, and he was always trying to figure out a way to get rid of that pain. And he was always looking for the one that would help him to alleviate that pain. And uh, yeah, so I wrote a song about it. And the moral of that story is. Uh, Be careful, you don't. <laughs> <laughs>